Yeah, I mean, anytime you get inside that fringe 20 yard line, you have to expect they're going to run the ball with the quarterback. Obviously, we're not working on our red zone stuff today, but I know when we're working on a Friday, that's going to be a big thing. We're going to continue watching on film. This guy's going to be able to run the ball. So, like I said, he's a dual threat guy um, with a strong arm. So, anytime you have a quarterback like that, it's going to be a challenge for the defense. Present a lot of challenges. And Kevin, there's the added change that, you know, we don't know what might happen with Jonathan Taylor this week. Yeah. There's also Moss, who's shown that he can run the ball really well. Right. How, how different does this offense look than from what you guys faced in the last year? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a different quarterback. Uh, you don't really see – we haven't really seen a quarterback like this. I mean, Josh Allen, in a way, with a strong arm who can run, break tackles, and extend plays, I would kind of put him in that type of realm. But as far as in our division, as far as the Indianapolis coach, it's a different quarterback. Uh, and they obviously have big body receivers and things like that. But if you add Jonathan Taylor into that mix, uh, that's a dangerous run game. He's an elite three down running back. We all know what he can do. So, uh, I mean, we'll see, you know, what the practice for him is going to look like this week. But we're gonna, I'm expecting to play. And, um, you know, I expect our guys to stop the run just like we always have. Coach, can we, uh, coach <laughs> Call me coach too early yeah. now. I don't know. <laughs> trying to hop in the <laughs> yeah, I was just question. like. Um, you mentioned the opportunities just to get ahead in this division with everything so close right now. Obviously, each game is so important, but in terms of this being the first division game and trying to get some separation, how much urgency, how much importance is this game? Yeah, this is going to be the biggest game we played up until this point. First division game. Everybody in our division is two and two. Obviously, we haven't played any, but to get ahead, to get our first win in division against a, a really good, you know, Indianapolis Colts team, uh, we've seen the way they, you know, kind of they was up last week and then obviously end up losing, but. Um, it's going to be huge for us. You know, I think in October and in November are the times of the year when teams start to separate from the pack. A lot of teams are kind of have the same record. So we want to be one of those teams going to be able to stack wins within these next couple months, try to put ourselves in a good position uh, towards the you know, late season run in, de in December. Um, have the games rescinded and for me to be able to be back with the team um, at a faster pace than I thought I was going to be. So I'm just happy to be back. I'm ready to work. In terms of ramping up, I mean, did it change anything, though, because you were expecting to be back at a certain time and now you're back no, I've been training the same way. I've been working um, my tail off as much as I can, conditioning, being in my pads, trying to find a way to get as close to being acclimated with the team as I can be. Um, I was in Tampa for the first three weeks, and then the last week when I was able to be back, I came back here as soon as I could, and I was working out with the team from then. Sorry to be repetitive. Does it seem unfair that they've changed the, the rules? after you serve more than what the suspension is now going to be? I have nothing to say about like how long I served or anything like that. I'm just happy to be back. I'm grateful that they were able to allow me to be back with the team, for me to be here, for me to be able to be back on the roster. Um, that was the main thing. I wanted to be back here at practices. I wanted to be able to be out there running around with the guys, so I'm just happy about that. How confident are you you'd be ready to be plugged in Sunday if they wanted to plug you right back in? I mean, I'm just confident that I'm happy to be back here. Um, I'm still reacclimating with the team. I'm doing everything I can to get myself as close to game rep, game ready as I can be, and that's going to be with me and the coaches just to figure out where I'm at and then just for me to keep working and trying to be better. Chris. Just that I can help the team win, you know, whatever that is, punt return, blocking, receiving, just that I can help the team win and that I can contribute. Are you operating as if you are going to be playing on Sunday? Is that kind of where your thought process is? Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, I'm going to practice like I'm going to play, and uh, then it's up to the coaches. Good to go? You're good. I feel good. Uh, real excited to play. Body feels good. and just ready to get out there. How much work have you been able to get in the last I've been able to get in a lot, you know, um, training staff here has been great with me, you know, whether that's working out, conditioning, getting routes in, just been feeling good. You and Ryan have seemingly had really good chemistry in the past, but what's it like getting back on the same page with him after missing, you know, a month now? Oh, uh, you know, just getting back in flow with him, you know, he's been playing, he's been getting a good, good time down connection with these guys, so um, go out there today, get some reps in, and just, it's really all it is, just banking reps over time. You've had your fair share of bad luck <laughs> to get started with, how do you keep your head up? Just got to keep the faith, you know. God's got a bigger plan for all this stuff, so I just keep my head down, keep working, and um, do what I can do, control what I can control. What is it you said about what you can contribute? I mean, there really isn't a guy on the offense with your skill set right now. You can mm -hmm. provide something you need. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I feel like i um, definitely a quicker type of guy. I feel like I'm good in man-to-man -man situations, stuff like that. So, um, you know, kind of whatever they ask me to do, I'm going to do. What is it with your knee that you kind of want to test this week? Is there some specific cutting or straight ahead or any of that stuff? There's, there's nothing I really want to test. You know, my knee feels good. I feel healthy and uh, I'm just ready to go back out there and play.